be kind of, you know, um, I'm lucky to run into that for sure in the quarterfinals, but yeah. that's how it shakes yeah, out. Yeah, and the, the, the problem is if you have uh, one bad match in this format, uh, you just, it's so hard to make up for that in, in, in another match in the pre-round. Yeah. You, okay, you have a bad match, but there are 13 other matches that you can play well. Yeah. No margin for error in a format like this, for sure. You know, they'll have a little more room to work when they make it to the finals. Um, but, but any, just one slight off decision or match can kind of cost you the whole thing right now. Exciting stuff. All right. And so we're getting started. Six, four going to point on head. I think folks are asking if, uh, Sander was drinking beer already, if he would be during this match, I'm not quite sure. Uh, just running feels a little bit anti-thematic with that blitzing position, but what can you do? You're split already. So of course you get out of the contact. Yeah. Two, one, I suppose best we can do is split mm. there. And I don't think it's enough of a racing lead to start consolidating 16 to 13. I would be looking for the fighting for a high point. Yeah, but uh, he's aborted. Mm, so that's, uh, that's an argument uh, to just safety the checker. And yeah, and especially uh, hitting on the four point is not as attractive as hitting on the on the five. So. Oh, very true. Okay. Yeah. Those are very tight plays and he finds the best one as he tends to. <laughs> Okay, good improvement for Ali. 3-1, I presume this is gonna make offense. Oh, wow, look at this. Yeah, with a five point made and the extra checker on the eight point, uh, you wanna secure your anchor first and take it from there. I mean, you have plenty of room to improve afterward. Okay. It goes with the offensive one, yeah. Uh, small difference there. I didn't see what plus plus decided. Um, that would have been hard for me to find too. I guess yeah. another argument is against only one checker back. He's never going to make that as an anchor. So you might miss the opportunity to make the 21 where you should have the opportunity mm. next roll on the five point. Sixes, not much to do other than blitz. Fours. We can see, okay, he's decided that that's going to be his, uh, his mm. odd four. And now we can either make, okay. Can play to the five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we keep all our structure and we keep six as well. Yeah, Man, he plays fast and just kind of has Shop, a good feel yeah. for this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Ali wants to see the light. It'd be interesting to see how Ali responds to that too. You know, sometimes when your opponent plays very quickly, you kind of feel pressure to do the same. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully he stays on his game. He was more in time pressure in the match that I saw streamed earlier. Yeah. So far, they have been playing really fast and on some, yeah, close decisions, so. <laughs> yeah. This is a tricky one. Sander's going to take a little time, and he's going to go with, uh, he's decided he wants to hit, and now he wants to figure out if he should lift it or not. Um, tough to find something yeah. you really like to do with this role. Yeah. It's interesting that this could be yeah. the, the top option with so much ugliness, and yeah, plus likes it too. Very surprising. Just takes the tempo and escape away now that he's stepped up. Mm. And he's leaving a shot almost no matter what, too. So this probably reduces shots as well. This is 4-1. Okay. Yeah. Exciting. We get to use that dilly builder. And a fan from Ali would put him in a, a quite a bit of danger here, but he enters pretty well here. Yeah, probably uh, just hop out uh, and hope for the best. Yeah, when you when you escape, I guess it's less shots out there too. And of course, when you're missed, then you have a real chance of escaping. And I still don't feel like there's with this open three and four point, like there's any real cube thoughts here. But mm -hmm. uh, pressure's on from Sander. Lots can be decided on this next roll. Misses. Yeah. So. Tactically, if the blot's gonna end up in the outfield a lot of the time, we might want to be careful yeah. about creating two board blots and play something like seven to five, but he just goes with the six to three, also makes sense, or six to four, sorry. So now Ali is consolidated mm -hmm. and it's pretty much an even game. Ali yeah. is a slight favorite, I guess. 
Yeah, he's escaped in a small racing lead, but nothing to really think about a cube with yet. Whoever rolls the set first should be doing best. Seven to two, yeah, I'm just playing a checker behind. Again, he wants to keep all those containing points in the outfield until he has a real advantage in the race. Then it'll be time to break contact. Sander has the perfect board, very nice. One, not keeping up in the race so well. So probably there, if he cannot break his board, I mean, when you have a close board, just keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time to go, not that many checkers aimed at him and yeah. board impurity makes it not so yeah. scary if he hits. I don't even know if Ali can hit with a roll like this necessarily. Yeah, but what else is he supposed to do? I mean- Leave fly shots, yeah. And- Clearing the, the, the bar point and killing a checker and also uh, half the time almost uh, yeah. send the dances and then uh, turns us into a last ball position. Yeah. So, I think, of course, if he gets hit, then uh, Sander is probably playing on too good. And can't even but take but at least uh, Sander is probably not uh, being able to use the cube efficiently because uh, yeah. he, before hitting, is probably not good enough. To, to double and after hitting he's too good. So that's what I would call the low cube efficiency. Mm -hmm. Scary thing to do against the closed board when you put yeah. those gammons up though, for sure. I'm sure he's thinking. Yeah, but when you are down in the race and uh, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Sometimes my chat just freezes up and I don't see all the comments. Everyone was telling me they could hear me while I was asking. See you now. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, can they hear me? <laughs> oh, good question. <laughs> no one's mentioned that they can hear Dirk. <laughs> Yeah, lots of talk about how amazing these two players are playing. Uh, Mark wonders if it might be a cube for Sander after the, the hitting yeah. play. Um, I really don't. I mean, there's a huge swing, but I mean, you can just eat the recube. So yeah, and who's, the, I mean, is he really a big favorite at DMP? Which position would you take after the hit? Well, this is interesting, actually. Looking at the numbers, though, um, he will be winning with gammon threats. And so it wasn't clear to me that Sander's even winning after the hit if he's winning then i think maybe you maybe. can save the send maybe. the cube to take advantage on the upside yeah, yeah that's that, for money that would be pro maybe a correct and double Ali beaver finds, or something <laughs> right. uh, he doesn't even think about the cube that's interesting and ollie finds the correct yeah. checker play well i presume yeah, he already yeah. thought about the cube is a big part of it right yeah, but yeah that's entered. true yeah, yeah at the time yeah. but i'm not so sure oh i, I think it was oh yeah one-on-one -on -one miss yeah that's a tricky one you just yeah. made his decision already um, we're gonna try the same thing again, I yeah, guess. And this time it's definitely not a cube without the second plot. Hmm, I see. I would say, oh, again a cube? Wow. Yeah, so again. yeah, I'm, I'm making these high volatility, low equity positions are really tricky. Yeah. And Ali's, I think, is pretty easy to find here. When he covers yeah. in a fan, feels like a clear market yeah. loss, um, yeah. about to take over in the race, yeah. And can Sander find the take with the better board and still a racing lead? Probably, but it's it's tricky. You like to be ahead more in the race than this when you're on the bar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but on the other other hand, there are immediate uh, like a six five uh, numbers that leave the blot, and uh, I think there's uh, enough play. Or if, if if Ali has to lift it and Sander comes in, and since uh, Sander is hardly ever losing a gammon. That means he only needs like 25% or 24% wins. So, and these are usually easy to come by, at least when you have a close board and some threats. So. Well, I'm not sure what they're talking about in the chat, but someone's saying that the hit might have been a blunder on plus plus. Um, this was the cube that got missed. Yeah, plus took it to a 153. Um, and the next one was also. Things, yeah. Oh, that was Ali's cube. Uh, no, this no, this, this is, is Ali's current cube. Cur current yeah, cube. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, you can see uh, Sander is still, uh, he is over 25% winning chances, not losing any gammons, hardly ever. Mm. Probably winning more gammons than he loses. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit more. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah, there are really big market losers. Any cover and dance is a huge market loser. And yeah, yeah. Ali, correct the cubes, would have been really surprised. He's going to find that very good. He had missed that one. And Sander hasn't made his decision about this one. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, that's yeah, yet a long time. So he is uh, probably going through the numbers and make sure. And yeah, what is what is all about? Like, uh, yeah, even like a 5 1 is not a great shot. Uh, it's just, yeah, and the fly shots. And, would be a lot, lot tougher if Sanders board had uh, any weakness, but like this, yeah, good take. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so if, if Sander can enter now, then it's, uh, okay, that was really unlucky. Nice feature of the position though, that sometimes when you don't cover, you can still just lift mm -hmm. twos and ones. So that's a lot of really good numbers. Ooh, fives is awkward. Uh, yeah, I can just come down and place three on that. Okay, that's no big deal. Four, four, and three, five. At least it virtually locks up the race. Yep. Also, almost no gammon threat for Ali anymore. Fix that. Four, eight, four, one. Not so bad, not so good. One set away from catching up. Uh, yeah, got to play safe. Kind of awkward distribution though. I guess Sander might, would he stay? Well, this what, seems too good for the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he still has some, with the gaps on the four point, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. still has some decent race equity. Yeah. Six, three off, okay. Staying alive. Okay, mm -hmm. still. Still racing chances. Okay. Hey, what is this? That, that, that's uh, close, getting close to recube even. Uh, on a miss, that'll put Sander on lead roll, which yeah. this is. Seven checkers to seven checkers. Yeah. So I think, I think he... with the free miss that Ali's got, this is really close. Yeah. And we're in recube territory yeah. already. The take seems I mean, the easier side, but you know, not all of Ali's doubles work. Double aces only takes two men off, so mm -hmm, that's, mm -hmm. that's a plus for Sander. Yeah, and he can afford a miss. Of course, there are some really ugly rolls, like a three-one, so he can double miss and then lose a roll. So, yeah. but all in all, if he just takes two men off and uh, and Ali takes two checkers off, then then he has lost his market by a mile. So so simply for volatility reasons, this should be cubed. Yeah, the volatility sticks out on this for for finding the being able to send this to Sander. I'm sure. Must be thinking about different roles and sequences and how mm -hmm. they're going to play out. Mm -hmm. Wow, these PRs are wild. Yeah, Ali with a perfect game so far, almost. I mean, yes, correct. And I'm certain, yeah, Ali will find the take. He had also oh, time to make up his mind. Different levels uh, think very different things about that, the equity on that queue. Um, Five one, ace not ideal. I don't think anything really misses with. Uh, yeah, so it's just, yeah. yeah. One of the many market losing sequences. Mm -hmm. 
Six one. Ali's gonna need twos or better if he gets the chance. He does. So that would be huge for him, especially leading in the PR. If you yeah. No, he cannot pull it off. All right. That seems to be his plan. It's just uh, lose every match and win every PR point. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, I only managed to lose every match part. Oh, no. <laughs> that's a good start. Though. That's yeah, yeah that's half of that. The other half <laughs> just could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Still low on decisions though, that 153 is something you can make up, but it's interesting to think about this the way that I guess uh, Mochi tends to, where he essentially needs Ali to make a series, like a 150 blunder or two mm -hmm. kind of regular sized blunders to take over the PR, mm -hmm. so needs him to catch up with some mistakes for mm -hmm. sure. Three's gonna hit, yeah. Three one, I think this is gonna hit, right? Yep. Have to break well, the eight to do it. It's a stronger but, board. Board. Anyhow, you have got more checkers back than your opponent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, was was it a miss? No, I don't know. Yeah, four six feels right. Ooh, double ones. Pretty nice shot. Puts two in the air. Yeah, well, so and this is entering on the ace at the score. Okay, yeah. he entered on the 24, four checkers back. Are we going to think about a cube at the no. score? No, still not. No. Okay. That, uh, at least I would have given it a thought because at 0 4, it's so easy and to miss cubes. 1 4, it looks like he missed, yeah. Yeah, it was just on the cusp, and now probably he has lost it. I enjoy this, though, because he's yeah, going to present he's... Sander with a harder decision. Yeah, last that's time. good for the take last time. Yeah, so it's. It's just on the, on the, it's just bottom line. Yeah, Sanders gonna take it, okay. Can't really make much of a mistake there. He tried though. Four, three, what are we doing? Okay, yeah. we gotta get a checker moving, yeah. Reasonable four down for the attack. Not enough ammo on the zone to hit on the ace and gets hit from the bar, okay. Oh, I thought it was it's a six, six fan, that'll work fine. Five checkers back and kind of blitzing. <laughs> it's always a tricky yeah. thing to accomplish. Now we got a six yeah. back. Which one though? Uh, we're closer to escaping if we hit 22 to 16, right? Less returns. I yeah. feel like I'd go with that one and yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah, and we are closer to getting a good anchor if, if we're hitting on the 18 because mm, then we can re-enter on the yeah. three or we can maybe... That's a good point, yeah. So Okay, So those tactics always confuse me so much. Sanders yeah. sees my logic and goes with the, the 16. Yeah. XG agrees on, oh, well, XG says it doesn't matter. Okay. So interesting. So someone in the chat is saying Ali's hit with 5 2 is actually incorrect and his PR will change on plus plus. So we'll we'll see that yeah. later. Um, if it's a sizable blunder, they could be really close in the PR race instead of such a clear advantage for Ali. Very interesting. Yeah, like uh, with not many decisions made, uh, any biggish mistake uh, can, can shift the balance. Mm hmm. Uh, it feels more important to get a checker moving off the 24 than to advance 15 to 13 or anything like that. Uh, yeah, but you want to have a direct cover to make the five prime that would sure. lock up your uh, front position. Maybe having so, a third checker. On uh, this uh, this I don't like that much. It it makes a little sense to me too. Yeah, but you are not so in so much in need of getting the five anchor. But oh. yeah, no, you never will get it. <laughs> A regret scenario. Three six good. Um, I think we're coming out to the bar, right? Or do we? Oh, we're leaving direct yeah, six. So yeah, anyway, so nice. just uh, yeah, gain some tempo. Mm -hmm. This is just uh, then he may hit two checkers and yeah. uh, get gets free opportunities to extend his prime. Super close plays though, actually. Be, yeah, saw that they're almost break even. The, yeah. Both ideas yeah. valid. It's not a lot that you're keeping really, up from doing by taking the tempo, so, so less valuable than usual. So it's interesting that the game is still not defined yet. Could yeah. end up some into some priming game, and Ali, of course, is far away from wanting to play a back game. This top play from XG is very strange. I like the eight to five piece of it, and then I was thinking maybe making the bar. I didn't think of parting yeah. on the twenty-one, but that really does freeze a lot of checkers. It's exactly. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I mean. The fourth point is, is where these checkers want to go, and now yeah. you 
No, they Check don't. Check that out. Oh, that's you. Ooh. Ooh. Very good timing. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's where they want to go. <laughs> but unfortunately, so now the question is, both plays are really ugly. That keeps the prime. Uh, yeah. So that, that would be more like the prime versus prime part of the position. Sure. For, well, even just for one row. Yeah, yeah and this mobility. is the yeah, stacks where, where the, all those these checkers uh, to go to anyway, uh, cool. probably to the lo low points. So you don't mind Feels slotting like, the low points. Yeah. Feels to me like tactically, it's just worth keeping the nine for a roll. Even yeah. if you leave a shot, it's just nicer to... Yeah. And, and maybe you can uh, get out with your back checkers and mm -hmm. then you have more roles to play and mm, won't be forced to break it. Okay, mm -hmm. understandable because parking two checkers on the on on the ace and the deuce is really tough to make for a human player. <laughs> Five, four, okay, it just gets a checker moving. Nice shot. It's exciting to find a way out anyway, even though he, okay. Oh, he did uh, give up the, so he was gonna escape anyway. So we have no regrets, got it. Six, okay. five hits two, what a shot. Sitting on a two cube, we could potentially win a gammon for the match in this game. But that's a long way. <laughs> the uh, white structure and green structure. <laughs> oh yeah. But it's not that many checkers yeah. to bring around. <clears throat> Very interesting. Yeah, buy some cells sometimes. Escape. Three one. Might have preferred to enter on the deuce. Four two. Um, I presume this is just safe on the yeah, six. Yeah, and even improves the distribution a little bit. Still. Yeah. The master plan is to just somehow be able to escape with that last checker. And, and that's uh, a good question. We're saying yeah. Sander was 39 yesterday and 40 today. Is it his birthday? I have to find that out. So yeah, make the super back game and just to then the, the, for sure there will be lots of really awkward numbers for Sander if you Six make the third point. You must be thinking about seeing the light with the 23 point checker or something like that as a possible no, option. No, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, has time to keep everything. And if he has to break mm -hmm. one of these points. That's going to be a more sizable mistake. Okay, that was. Side. We'll see on plus plus and everything. Yeah, first uh, bigger mistake. So now the PR race is close of a sun, all of a sudden again, I think. I'm going to play 22 to 18 as a result is kind of nice though. Six out and then five comes around into a double shot plus some indirects maybe. I don't know if that adds anything. Um, so it's a bit scary. So look at this, the six to one tempo to get rid of the goalkeeper. Yeah. It's risky somehow. Yeah, but uh, uh, right now Ali doesn't have any blitz potential. So yeah, it's, it's probably not the end of the world if that checker gets hit. And uh, oh, nice. how do you want to continue if you, okay, it's I think. And Someone says Sander was born in 81, so it's hard for him to be 39 over 40. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he could be 40. His birthday hasn't okay. come up in 22 yet. Don't leave a direct line. Very interesting game they found themselves in. Okay, so that doesn't hit anything. So XG very often in these positions likes to keep all the anchors as long. <laughs> so yeah, the most logical to me looks like a 16 to five kind of play. Um, thought about coming off one of the back ones to make another mm -hmm. outfield point. That's yeah, but then that, that that's, I think it's, uh, I'd, well, I mean, now that you want the outfield coverage, basically you are, trying to say goodbye to the back game and uh, yeah. switch to a forward game, then of course it's uh, a little bit uh, committing. You're committing yourself basically to go forward now. Very interesting find though. That's like uh, near the top of the plays. Yeah. Links up. 
Uh, 18 to 7 is yeah. a tough find, too, sure. just giving up points when you just must keep better outfield coverage. That seems to be the priority here. Oh, no, Gordon yeah. So far down. 5-2, uh, how are we going to cover the outfield now? Make the midpoint or something like that? I like the look of that. Yeah. But uh, XG likes spreading more blocks. Yeah, that's that's wow. a very tough one to find for for anybody, I think. 13 and 14 looks like a gammon nightmare. But I guess it must be at the score we don't care that much. Winning is just so much more important that we go for the coverage. He's only got a two-point board for now, so how bad can the fly shot hurt? We're going to get piles of returns yeah. if he hits us with a 6-4 yeah. or 6-5. So yeah, I guess it doesn't look so bad. Uh, it's just hard to think that way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because you bad. you are, you are taught not to leave uh, too many blots, but this is a classic containment situation. Yeah. There, it's often right to spread them out. Sure. I guess if he parks with a six out. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, oh wow, wow, he finds the play. That's so great. Really impressive. Uh, yeah. He only gets a single shot if he makes midpoint. Okay, he's going to be hit, but again, yeah, he's but have again, a lot of returns. Yeah. Ones and twos and fours from the bar, kind of perfectly duplicated. A five, six will work as well. Threes doesn't get there. Okay. So. I guess we're going to link two blots together. 15 and 13, I presume, because we still see the whole board. And then the last one, I don't know, yeah. 13, 10, I'm sure. Is that actually wow. wants to keep all the blots? No, just. Uh, yeah, I guess we hope to get hit in the uh, sense and come back in on the ace. We're so or make ace. make a second anchor somehow again yeah. or something. Man, these are hard. Yeah, a very anchor. tough game. And impressed by Ali's points. play, how he <laughs> found that uh, outfit coverage play. Okay, great yeah. stuff. Okay. Find something like that. Okay. One can hit twice. Is that yeah. tactically it can make a point? Can't leave the double shot though. So I think, oh, well, look at this. Not only are you supposed to uh, to just advance. Like yeah, yeah no, now now you have. Um, I mean, you are not that well distributed, and you give your opponent a chance to establish that the second anchor. You are not desperate to win a gammon. Two points would be enough for now. So if you just played as a holding game. I mean, three-point holding game with, with 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 a couple of gaps, but uh, those are some unintuitive strategic decisions to make. But yeah. um, you know, when you see it from XG, you understand the idea. Yeah, it's like, just it's like uh, hard to choose it. That is why Ali was supposed to leave the blots because Sunday is not supposed to hit them. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Look at this. I think he's leaning towards the correct play here, too. Yeah. So and it's correct by far to not hit anything. So that would this, yeah. yeah, great, great. Didn't look great at the play. numbers. I presume for money or something that that would not be the case. Um, twos. You want to keep leaving it on the 18? Sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's just not just for something like this, for example. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> nice to get a double shot after double sixes. <laughs> <laughs> Sure yeah, well, that was a nice uh, sequence for Ali. About 17 to 14 for the six cover. Yes. Like that. that looks natural. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a, a fan, so. Tough to win a gammon. At least Sanders saved <laughs> that by bringing so many checkers yeah. in. But uh, still, if you, if you had told him that uh, three rolls before, you. <laughs> He will be able to save the gammon. I think he is trying to do yeah. something more here. Maybe not, though. Ali's got some room to uh, yeah, now. checker free. Yeah, but now. Yeah. Six puts. Needs okay, to complete that's... A six prime first, of course. And Sanders just camping out at the edge. That's scary stuff. By the way, uh, it looks like four, four. Uh, buffle four. That's going to switch to the three, right? I would. Yeah. Yeah. I think we can let him potentially roll a six to get away. Yeah. And, and there are also some awkward comments. I, I, at least I see an ace five, an ace, ace, you know, oh, ace yeah. use plays. Yeah, ace. okay. Just uh, there's some tactics involved as well. Sure. Well, I love those gross rolls. Find some more of them. <laughs> <laughs> double twos is double twos. Double twos. How do you like double twos? Yeah. 
That's a great find. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Andy Fonz in 24, but uh, okay, no. that's uh, still, <laughs> we still have uh, like a 6.2 uh, that we can offer. Mm, oh yeah, 6.2 is great. Okay. You got things to, to root for. No, I won't root for the disaster <laughs> numbers. That's to watch for. Six, six, two, <laughs> four, two. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. No, it was actually a four. Two. Well, four, two. Was, yeah, not, not it's, quite it's as not bad. Great either. Double, double well, sixes. He prefers, okay. he should have stayed back to have more shots. I guess interesting. Yeah, sixes is great. And he gets to camp out and hit that. Like, wait to hit that box. That that, that would be really a gross way to lose a gammon after you. <laughs> Reduce it to a simple holding game. Yeah. This four doesn't clean up the blood, so Ali will hit with any six if he doesn't get an ace. He gets the A, the four two, so he will, he will yeah. hit lose. Ace. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, just the ace, it seems. Five, I think, yeah. Fan, he gets a chance to roll a six, six, five. Okay, okay, okay. So, puts a second checker up. Maybe he's gonna win this after all. Maybe even a gammon, huh? Yeah, if he wins it, it's most likely a gammon. So, that's yeah. a really cruel turn of events again. This time for Ali, couple hits, couple covers, double, double oh, sixes. Okay. He's stuck leaving the shot, but he's yeah. off the gammon, off the gammon. Yeah, <laughs> so and uh, if he wins the gammon here. Which is more and more likely now. Uh, he took the lead in the PR in the meantime. Yeah, so like that it, would yeah. be really a big swing on this this game in in any sense, every sense. What is this? Do we have to peel, or do we just have to play safe and try to clear? Okay, okay. Still, so, guess winning is the way to get a gammon in this position. Yeah, to just need to <coughs> to get home safely and then. Soon. Okay, so that's probably the end of this, which is oh double fives. So <clears throat> for for Ali, it's really yeah maybe Ali will get some more decisions, but I I mean this is the three ply PR or the plus PR that you can uh, see. Yeah. So there's still some you can see room left. Dragging on our screen a little bit on the three ply, so please don't plus plus us. <laughs> mm. Um, doesn't matter if he saves the backgammon, so whatever is most efficient for gammon saving, which, what is that? Maybe, maybe 11 in 10? Mm, uh, I don't know these. I, I only know that the difference is so small. <laughs> They're very difficult. Oh. I feel like I run into players all the time that just know those kinds of things. Like, don't think twice yeah, about it. Okay. You are not talking to one of them. <laughs> Okay, some still uh, one big double away from saving it. Uh, six one. How many uh, numbers? It's one crossover, so he's going to need a set to get there. It's hard for. Uh, uh, I think uh, if he plays, you know, he, he's. I think there's no way to activate uh, double fours, right? Right. That's what so. I'm so it's double five. So. Either. Yeah. yeah. Sure. He chooses this variant. set to stay in the match or up and good. Good. yeah that was really a crucial game because uh, Ali was leading in the PR and since he yeah. had all these containment decisions uh, with some small it. mistakes but we'll see is so close enough uh, that uh, this can change yeah we'll see what plus plus thinks of the cubes and things like that too so this one's gonna have to get a plus plus for sure back next match they're going to switch spots and let's see is Enya can he play on the stream and uh, let's see is it is it scheduled time so I don't know if that's fine uh, I'm not sure what it is right now but I think it's a one o'clock this evening yeah I'm not sure why I can't do that I think it's a one o'clock 